Hello, I am Nurul Athar, PMP CPHI Mission Art Ad Certified and welcome to my presentation on PIM Bakait 7th edition. In this part, we are going to explore Team Performance Domain. As we already know, there are 8 Project Performance Domain. So, let's start Team Performance Domain. First, we will see some definitions. The following definitions are relevant to the Team Performance Domain project manager, the person assigned by the performing organization to lead the project team that is responsible for achieving the project objectives, project management team, the members of the project team who are directly involved in project management activities, and project team, a set of individuals performing the work of the project to achieve its objective. So, let's see team performance domain. The team performance domains address activities, functions associated with the people who are responsible for producing project deliverables that realize business outcomes. Effective execution of this performance domain results in the following desired outcomes. Shared ownership, a high performing team, applicable leadership and other interpersonal skills demonstrated by all team members. This performance domain entails establishing the culture and environment that enables a collection of diverse individuals to evolve into high-performing project team. This includes recognizing the activities needed to foster project team development and encouraging leadership behavior from all project team members. Project team management and leadership, project team culture, high performing project teams, leadership skills, tailoring leadership style, interaction with other performance domains and ch checking results. Let's explore one by one. First uh, project team management and leadership. Project management entails applying knowledge, skills, tools and techniques for management activities as well as leadership activities. Management activities focus on means of meeting project objectives such as having effective processes, planning, coordinating, measuring and monitoring work, among others. Leadership activities focus on people. Leadership includes influencing, motivating, listening, enabling and other activities having to do with the project team. Both are important in delivering the intended outcomes. Then we'll see centralized management leadership, distributed management leadership and common aspect of team development. Let's see centralized management leadership. Why leadership activities should be practiced by all project team members? Management activities may be centralized or distributed. In an environment where management activities are centralized, accountability being answerable for an outcome is usually assigned to one individual, such as a project manager or similar role. In this situation, a project charter or other authorizing document can provide approval for project manager to form a project team to achieve the project outcomes. You see distributed management and leadership. Sometimes project management activities are shared among project management team and project team members are responsible for completing the work. There are also situations where a project team may self-organize to complete a project rather than having a designated project manager. Someone within the project team may serve as a facilitator to enable the communication, collaboration, engagement. This role may shift among project team members. Servant leadership is a style of leadership that focuses on understanding and addressing the needs and development of project team members in order to enable the highest possible project team performance. Servant leaders place emphasis on developing project team members to their highest potential by focusing on addressing questions such as Are project team members growing as individual? 
Are project team members becoming healthier, wiser, freer and more autonomous? Are project team members more likely to become servant leaders? Servant leaders allow project teams to self-organize when possible and increase levels of autonomy by passing appropriate decision-making opportunities to project team members. Servant leadership behavior includes obstacle removal, diversion shield, encouragement and development opportunities. Let's explore one by one. Obstacle removal. Since it is the project team who generate the majority of the business value, a critical role for the servant leader is to maximize the delivery by removing impediments to their progress. This includes solving problems and removing obstacles that may be hampering the project team's work. By solving or easing these impediments, the project team can deliver value to business faster. Divergent shield. Servant leaders protect the project team from internal and external diversion that redirect the project team from the current objectives. Time fragmentation reduce productivity, so shielding the project team from non-critical external demands helps the project team stay focused. Encouragement and development opportunities. The servant leader also provides tools and inc encouragement to keep the project team satisfied and productive. Learning what motivates project team members as individual and finding ways to reward them for good work helps keep project team members satisfied. Let's see the third one. Common aspect of team development. Regardless of how management activities are structured, there are common aspects of project team development that are relevant for most project team teams. These include vision and objectives, roles and responsibilities, project teams, operation, guidance and growth. Let's see, explore first vision and ob objectives. It is essential that everyone is aware of project vision and objectives. The vision and objectives are communicated throughout the project. This includes referencing the intended outcomes when the project team is engaged in making decisions and solving problems. Roles and responsibilities. It is important to make sure project team members understand and fulfill their roles and responsibilities. This can include identifying gaps in in knowledge and skills as well as strategies to address those gaps through training, mentoring or coaching. Project team operations. Facilitating project team communication, problem solving and the process of coming to census may include working with project team to develop a project team charter and set up operating guide lines or project teams now guidance guidance can be directed to the overall project team to keep everyone headed in the right direction individual project team members may also provide guidance on a particular task or deliverable growth Identifying areas where the project team is performing well and pointing out areas where the project team can improve helps the project team to grow. Working collaboratively, the project team can identify goals for its improvement and take steps to meet those goals. This also applies to each individual on project team. Individuals may want to grow their skills and experience in certain areas and the project manager can assist with that.
and I'll see project team culture each project team develop its own team culture the project team's culture may be established delibera deliberately by developing project team norms or informally through the behaviors and action of its project team members the project team culture operates within organization culture but reflects the project team's individual ways of working and interacting The project manager is key in establishing and maintaining a safe, respectful, non-judgmental environment that allows the project team to communicate openly. One way to accomplish this by modeling desired behaviors such as transparency, integrity, respect, positive disclosure, support, courage, ce celebrating success. So let's explore first transparency. Being transparent in how one thinks, makes choices and processes information helps others identify and share their own processes. This can extend it to being transparent about biases as well. Integrity Integrity is compromise of ethical behavior and honesty. Individuals demonstrate honesty by surfacing risk, communicating their assumptions and basis of estimates. Delivering bad news early, ensuring status reports provide an accurate depiction of the project's status, and in many other ways, ethical behavior can include surfacing potential defects or negative effects in product design, dis disclosing potential conflicts of interest, ensuring fairness, and making decisions based on environmental, stakeholder, and financial impact. Let's see the third. Respect. Demonstrating respect for each person, how the person thinking, the person skills, and the perspective and expertise the person brings to the project team sets the stage for all project team members to adopt this behavior. Positive disclosure. Throughout the project, diverse opinions, different ways of approaching situations and misunderstanding will occur. There are a normal part of conducting projects. They present an opportunity to have a dialogue rather than debate. A dialogue entails working with others to resolve divergent. The goal is to arrive at a resolution that all parties can embrace. A debate on the other hand is a win-lose scenario where people are more interested in winning personally than they are in being open to alternative solution to a problem. support. Projects can be challenging from the perspectives of technical challenges, environmental influences and interpersonal interactions. Supporting project team members through problem solving and removing impediments builds a separate culture and leads to a trusting and collaborative environment. Support can also be demonstrated by providing encouragement showing empathy and engaging in active listening. Courage Recommending a new approach to problem or way of working can be intimidating. Likewise, it can be challenging to disagree with a subject matter expert or someone with great authority. However, demonstrating the courage that it takes to make a suggestion, disagree or try to something new in a culture of experimentation and communicates to others that it is safe to be in courageous and try new approaches. Celebrating success. Focusing on project goals, challenges and issues often sidelines the fact that individual project team members and project team as a whole are steadily progressing toward those goals. Because work takes priority, project team members may defer recognizing demonstration of innovation, adoption, service to others and learning. However, recognizing such contribution in real time can keep the project team and individual motivated.
high performing project teams. One goal of effective leadership is to create high performing project team. There are numbers of factors that contribute to high performing project team. The list given here is not comprehensive but it's identified some of the factors associated with the high performing project teams. Okay, open communication, shared understanding, shared ownership, trust, collaboration, adaptability, resilience, empowerment and recognition. So let's explore each open communication. An environment that fosters open and safe communication allows for productive meeting, problem solving, brainstorming and so forth. It is also the corner stone for other factors such as shared understanding, trust and collaboration shared understanding. The purpose for the project and the benefits it will provide are held in common. Shared ownership. The more ownership of the outcomes that project team members feel, the better they are likely to perform. Trust. A project team in which its member trusts each other is willing to go to extra distance to deliver success. People are less likely to do extra work it may take to succeed if they do not trust their project team members, project manager or the organization. Collaboration Project teams that collaborate and work with each other rather than work in silos or compete tend to generate more diverse ideas and end up with better outcomes adaptability. Project teams that are able to adapt the way they work to the environment and the situation are more effective. Resilience. When issues or failures occur, high performing project teams recover quickly. Empowerment. Project team members who feel empowered to make decisions about the way they work perform better than those who are micromanaged recognition. Project teams who are recognized for the work they put in and the performance they achieve are more likely to continue to perform well. Even the simple act of showing appreciation reinforces positive team behavior. I see leadership skills. Leadership skills are useful for all project team members whether the project team is operating in an environment with a centralized authority or shared leadership environment. The following section describes the sum of the traits and activities associated with leadership. Establishing and maintaining vision, critical thinking, motivation and interpersonal skills. So let's explore first establishing and maintaining vision. Every project has a purpose. Understanding that purpose is critical for people to commit their time and energy in the right direction toward achieving the project purpose. The project vision summarizes the project's purpose clearly and succinctly. It describes a realistic attractive view of future project outcomes. In addition to briefly describing the desired future state, the vision is a powerful motivational tool. It is a way to create passion and meaning for projects in vision goal. A common vision helps keeps people pulling in the same direction when immersed in the details of everyday work. A clear understanding of the end goal can help guide local decisions toward the desired project outcome. A vision developed collaboratively between project team members and key stakeholders should answer this question.
What is the project purpose? What defines successful project work? How will the future be better when the project outcomes are delivered? How will the project team know that it's drifting from the vision? A good vision is clear and concise and actionable. It does the following. Summarizes the project with a powerful phrase or short description. Describes the best achievable outcome. Create a common cohesive picture in project team members' minds and inspires passion for the outcome. Critical thinking. Throughout the various project performance domains, there is a need to recognize bias, identify the root cause of problem, and consider the challenging issues such as ambiguity, complexity, and so forth. Critical thinking helps to accomplish these activities. Critical thinking include disciplined, rational, logical, evidence-based thinking. It requires an open mind and the ability to analyze objectively. Critical thinking, especially when applied to discovery, can include conceptual imagination, insight, and intuition. It can also include reflective thinking and metacognition, thinking about thinking and being aware of one's awareness. Project team members apply critical thinking to research and gather unbiased well-balanced information recognize analyze and resolve problems identify bias unstated assumptions and values discern the use of language and the influences on on self and others Analyze data and evidence to evaluate arguments and perspectives. Observe events to identify patterns and relationships. Apply inductive, deductive, and abductive reasoning appropriately and identify and articulate false premises, false analogy, emotional appeals, and other faulty logic. motivation. Motivating project team members has two aspects. The first is understanding what motivates project team members to perform and the second is working with the project team members in such a way that they remain committed to project and its outcome. Motivation to perform can be intrinsic or extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation comes from inside the individual or it's associated with the work. It is associated with the finding pleasure in the work itself rather than focusing on rewards. Extrinsic motivation is performing work because of an external reward such as bonus. Much of the work done on project is aligned with intrinsic motivation. Examples of intrinsic motivation factors include achievement, challenge, belief in the work, making a difference, self-direction and autonomy, responsibility, personal growth, relatedness and being part of project team. People are not motivated by just one thing. However, most people have dominant motivator. To effectively motivate project team members, it is helpful to know each member's dominant motivator. For example, a project team member who is motivated by challenge, challenges will respond well to stretch goals and problems to solve. A project team member who is motivated by relatedness will respond to being part of the dynamic working group. 
Project team members who thrive on autonomy will perform better if they can establish their own ways of working and even their own work hours and cadence. Therefore, tailoring motivation matters based on individual preference helps to elicit the best individual and project team performance. Interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills that are used frequently in projects include emotional intelligence, decision making and conflict resolution among others. Emotional intelligence Emotional intelligence is the ability to recognize our own emotions and those of others. This information is used to guide thinking and behavior. Recognition of personal feelings, empathy for the feeling of others and the ability to act appropriately are the cornerstones for effective communication, collaboration and leadership. Since projects are undertaken by people and for people, emotional intelligence, the ability to understand oneself and effectively sustain working relationship with others is critical in project team environments. There are multiple models for defining and explaining emotional intelligence. They cover on four key areas. Self-awareness, self-management, social awareness and social skills. Self-awareness is the ability to conduct a realistic self-assessment. It includes understanding our own emotions, goals, motivations, strength and weakness. Self-management, also known as self-regulation, it is the ability to control and redirect disruptive feelings and impulses. It is the ability to think before acting, suspending snap judgments and impulsive decision. Self-awareness and self-management are required to remain calm and productive. During difficult project circumstances, social awareness and social skills allow for better bonds with project team members and project stakeholders. Emotional intelligence is a basis of all form of leadership. Social awareness. Social awareness is about empathy, understanding and considering other people's feelings. This includes ability to read nonverbal cues and body language social skills. Social skill is the culmination of other dimensions of emotional intelligence. It is concerned with uh, managing group, groups of people such as project teams, building social networks, finding common ground with various stakeholders and building report. Figure 2.5 component of emotional intelligence, self-awareness, how do you affect the team, how does the team affect you, self-management, thinking before you act, build trust, social awareness, be empathetic, employ active listening, social skills, establish rapport, build effective teams, manage attitude. Now we'll explore next topic that is tailoring leadership styles. As with all aspects of projects, leadership styles are also tailored to meet the needs of project, the environment and the stakeholders. Some of the variables that influence tailoring of leadership style include experience with the type of project, maturity of the project team members, organizational governance structures and distributed project teams. Let's explore one by one experience with the type of project. 
Organizations and project teams with experience on a specific type of project may be more self-managing and require less leadership. When a project is new to an organization, the tendency is to provide more oversight and to use more direct to leadership style. Majority of the project team members Project team members who are mature in technical field may need less uh, oversight and direction than project team members who are new to the organization, the team or technical specialty. Organizational governance structure. Projects operate within a larger organizational system. There may be the expectation that the organizational leadership style of top management is recognized and reflected in the team's leadership. The organizational structure influences the degree to which authority and accountability are centralized or distributed. And distributed project teams. A global project workforce is more common today than in the past. In spite of best efforts to connect people virtually, it can be challenging to create the same level of collaboration and relatedness that is achieved when working face to face. To minimize the pitfalls of distributed project teams, technology can be used to increase and improve communication. Now you see, next, interaction with other performance domains. The team performance domain emphasizes the skills used by project managers and project team members throughout the project. These skills are woven into all other aspects of project. Project team members are called on to demonstrate leadership qualities and skills throughout the project, communicating the project vision and benefits to the stakeholder while planning and throughout the project life is one example. Another example is employing critical thinking, problem solving and decision making while engaging in project work. Accountability for outcome is demonstrated throughout the planning and measurement performance domains. Let's see, checking results. Table 2.3, checking outcomes, team performance domain. Outcome, shared ownership, check. All project team members know the vision, objective, the project team owns the deliverable and outcome of the project. Outcome, a high performing team, what need to check? The project team trusts each other and collaborates. The project team adapts to changing situation and is, and is resilient to face of challenges. The project team feels empowered and empowers and recognizes members of the project team. Outcome. Applicable leadership and other interpersonal skills are demonstrated by all project team members. What we need to check? Project team members apply critical thinking and interpersonal skill. Project team members' leadership styles are appropriate to the project context and environment. Table 2.3 identifies the outcome from effective application of the team performance domain on the left and ways of checking them on the right as we have already explored. Okay, that brings us to end up my presentation. Thanks for watching. In next presentation, we are going to explore development approach and life cycle. I hope you would have found this information useful. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.